Hello and welcome to my new devlog. In today's update, I will show you the latest addition to my game, a dynamic day and night cycle system. Introducing a day and night cycle in Mon Tamer not only enhances the overall immersion of the game world, but it also paves the way for unique gameplay mechanics, making the Mon Tamer experience even more interesting and enjoyable. The day and night cycle system is designed to emulate the passage of time, allowing for seamless transitions between daytime and nighttime in the game world. This cycle influences the visuals, creature behaviors and even certain in-game events that are dependent on the time of day. As you can see in the video here, I've sped up the sun's movement to showcase the various transitions. In Morn Tamer, one in-game minute corresponds to three real-time seconds. However, to find the optimal time ratio, more playtesting will be necessary. To create distinct colors for different times of day, I used Unity's directional lights. Four separate lights represent each phase of the day. These lights serve as reference points, guiding the manipulation of the actual sunlight to achieve the desired atmosphere. Interpolation of light intensity, color and shadow strength was employed to simulate the various times of day. During nighttime, I added a directional light to simulate moonlight, ensuring that the environment isn't overly dark, even with the point lights that activated night and deactivated dawn. Furthermore, the length of day and night will be determined by the in-game date. I plan to add a setting that allows players to adjust nighttime brightness, as I understand that many gamers aren't fond of dark settings, particularly when playing in well-lit areas. In addition to the dynamic lighting, I've implemented sun movement, as evidenced by the shifting shadows in the game. One of the most thrilling aspects of the day and night cycle system is its effect on the creatures of Mon Tamer. Certain creatures are more active during the day, while others thrive in the shadows of night. This encourages players to explore the game world at different times to discover and tame new creatures. Here I have added the spawn point component, where I can set up the encounters, which get spawned on the overworld. I can set up the level of these mons, as well as the probability, since I can add multiple mons to this component and let the system choose one randomly. But, for this showcase, I have chosen one mon for the nighttime between 9pm and 4am, and one for the daytime between 4am and 9pm, so the probability of each is one. We can also set up the speed of the mon separately and decide if it will randomly roam around, move to the player to force a battle, or to flee from the player. We can also set up the range in which these mons get spawned. So, without further ado, let's test it out. Since it is 8am in the morning, a wolfie will be spawned as we have set up previously. And here, since it is 0.17am at night, a crappy gets spawned. The result is exactly as we have set up in the spawn point component earlier. In addition to the spawn times for the mons, the newly added time system allows me to integrate time-specific events and quests that are accessible only during certain times. This will give players a sense of urgency and excitement as they race against the clock to complete challenges and unravel secrets. I am really proud of the day and night cycle system, but I know there's always room for improvement. So I am happy for any feedback and improvement suggestions. Or maybe you have some crazy ideas how I could use this day and night cycle system. Feel free to let me know about it. So, don't hesitate and feel free to comment what you think of the new system. Also, please don't forget to subscribe and wishlist Montamer on Steam. See you in the next video.